I, I was using my, uh, HDR port for the- Ooh, that blew up that balloon. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Duke Nukem. I'm Kira Khan, and thank you for joining me. And yeah, he, uh, he used to look like that. So you're the pitiful hero they sent to stop me. I, Dr. Proton, will soon rule the world. You're wrong, Proton, Beth. B Beth? Breath. Blah, I'm alright, scoring up. I'll be done with you and still have time to watch Oprah. Okay, so I had some technical difficulties getting this to start. Uh, it, it was because of a change in my video mode for uh, recording. That's on me. That is 100% on me. So, uh, it, it should be fine now. Basically, before the, uh, the game was running at the wrong resolution, and some of the things that were supposed to be fixed weren't fixed, but now, now it's worked. Ah, I get attacked by a bug! Okay, so, uh, yeah, Duke Nukem 1. This is actually a re-release version, I think, uh, because he's got sunglasses, which he didn't used to have. Uh, in fact, you can still see it on the title screen. Uh, but apparently they changed the sprites in one of the re-releases so that he would have sunglasses. I don't know. Um, th this, uh, this isn't the version that I actually own, but I can't install that. Because I don't have a computer that has a, uh, floppy disk drive anymore. I think I also have it on CD somewhere, but uh, my laptop also doesn't have a, a disk drive. I, I do have an external one, but I'm not even sure it would load up properly. Cause DOS! This is a source port, by the way. This is the, uh, well, <laughs> as you can see at the bottom, the redo engine. As far as I know, it's pretty accurate. It it's... It's been a long time since I, uh, last played this. I did run some tests, and it worked fine, and then I had the issues, only because, uh, I, I was using my, uh, HDR port for the- Ooh, that blew up that balloon. I was using the HDR port before, while, uh, ah! Oh, well, this is just using my PVR. So, you know, different resolutions and shit. And no, this this doesn't mean that I'm not doing Duke 3D anymore. I, I still am. I just I thought this would be a fun thing to do in between. Oop. It's pretty archaic. I do think they did like a once over on the graphics because like Duke doesn't have his pink shirt that he has in the uh uh. Original. You saw it on the title screen and in the opening, too. There's also no music. I don't know if I discussed this already, but, uh... Yeah, th this game doesn't have music. It's like the, uh, original Commander Keen games in that regard. Like the first three Commander Keens. Maybe I'll add some music over to the top of it. Some of that Duke 3D soundtrack. I don't know. Although, the first episode of this is called Shrapnel City, which ought to be familiar to anyone who's played Duke 3D. And of course, Dr. Proton was the antagonist of uh, the Duke Forever DLC. Which, I mean, I guess that DLC is supposed to be pretty good, but you have to, you know, have Duke Nukem Forever. Which, uh, I don't, and I don't really want to. Chez has it. Maybe we'll do a playthrough of that. It's, it's the PS3 version, so it's, you know, the extra janky edition. And I don't want to touch that, because that'll kill me. I made a mistake of that last night when I was testing this. 
Okay, and I think that's the end of the stage. Uh, I think there's ten in the first uh, episode. Because, you know, episodic games isn't a new thing, but back then they used to actually do it well. Oh, yeah, see, you are now entering the next level. Yeah, no, I don't want to... How do I quit? Er, quit. How do I save? There we go. Okay, I'm learning. I I I'm learning stuff from the uh, early days of PC gaming. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one.